Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. We've been away for the past two weeks on family vacation, but we're back and I'm getting you guys caught up with part three of our DIY understairs makeover project. You can watch the previous progress videos on our channel. So in this week's video, we're finishing up the last pullout drawer build, as well as installing all of the shelving and completing some patchwork. The next video we share will be the big reveal, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that because it's going to be amazing. If you haven't already, be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss our Sunday videos. The third pullout drawer was the trickiest to build because of the necessary angle cuts we had to make, but you can just use an angle finder to help with that. And just like the other two pullout drawers, Bernard secured this one with glue and screws. We're so proud of the construction of these drawers and all that's left is to install the last pair of drawer slides. We're using 40 inch heavy duty undermount slides that are capable of supporting up to 260 pounds. You can find the exact one linked in the description box below. With all three pullout drawers completed, next up was installing the shelves. We're using three quarter inch plywood, which got a bit warped while we were on vacation. So to correct some of that, Bernard attached a piece of pine board to each shelf, which really helped to straighten them out. Each shelf was screwed into the pullout drawer from underneath and on both sides, so I feel pretty confident that they'll safely hold all of the household products I plan to store in them.
Look how good they all look. I'm super excited to be able to use this space soon. To clean up the gaps this project created, Bernard added some backer rod in the larger gaps, then filled them with joint compound and followed that up with some light sanding. If you follow us on our social media platforms, then you know we're all about good craftsmanship and attention to details. That being said, it was super necessary to clean up all those rough plywood sides with some edge banding. Yes, it added more work to the project, but a neatly living project wouldn't be complete if we didn't dot our I's and cross our T's. I found this heat press on Amazon and it did a really good job, so I'm linking it in the description box below. Here's a sneak peek of the paint color options for the exterior finish of this project. These are the only two colors I'm considering, so let me know which one you like better. The first is Agreeable Gray by Sharon Williams, which is such a soft, pretty gray. It's actually lighter in real life than it's showing on camera, and I really like it. The second option is Dorian Gray, also by Sharon Williams. This color is such a mood, which I love. It's actually the color of her interior doors, so I already know it works well in her home. Well, that's it for this week, you guys. I can't believe we just have painting, trim, and door panels left to complete. My goal is to have the reveal up next week, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.